Hello my friends. In 1859, originally only 13 rabbits were brought to Australia from England by a wealthy man named Thomas Austin. Since then until today, the explosion in the number of wild rabbits has had a negative impact on nature and agriculture, always causing the government and many farmers a headache trying to find the right solution and countermeasures to prevent the outbreak of rabbits. Over the past 100 years, governments and farmers in Australia have adopted a variety of measures to control wild rabbit populations, such as building fences and destroying rabbit burrows. Even biological control measures, such as infecting rabbits with viruses and releasing them into the wild has been applied. But due to the favorable living conditions and extremely fast reproduction, the number of Australian rabbits has always increased rapidly. Although at one point, 98 million wild rabbits on this continent were exterminated, female rabbits usually start breeding as soon as they are five to six months old. Female feral rabbits in Australia today give birth to four litters a year, and each litter normally has about seven to 10 kids born. The baby rabbits will live for a long time in the burrow and only come out when the mother feels safe. These baby rabbits will be breastfed for about four weeks before starting to nibble on edible food. According to research by the Australian Centre for Invasive Species Solutions, most wild rabbits will separate from their mothers and begin independent lives as soon as they finish weaning. There is an estimated 287 million feral wild rabbits living in Australia, of which about 177 million are born each year. Hundreds of millions of rabbits are distributed all over Australia's land, and they are found anywhere there is grass and they can burrow. In the wild, young rabbits are often the preferred prey of carnivores such as dingoes, feral cats or crows. However, the number of wild rabbits killed each year by predators is a very small fraction of the total number of wild rabbits living in Australia. After about four to five weeks, these rabbits are weaned and begin a new independent life. They will steal and live wherever there is food. For example, in the backyard in the garden or on a hillside. Basically, anywhere in Australia could be the ideal habitat for this highly adaptable animal. This would exclude areas with lots of clay and sand, like in northeastern South Australia. Currently, New South Wales. Queensland and Victoria are the states with the largest populations of rabbits. New South Wales is home to about 65 million wild rabbits. This is some of the negative effects that hundreds of millions of rabbits have.
Australia's ecosystems will be depleted of natural vegetation and grasslands because of the overdispersal of wild rabbits. It is said that an entire international standard football field would be eaten by an adult rabbit over the course of a year. An adult rabbit weighs around 3.3 pounds and needs to consume 7% of its body weight per day. The wild rabbits also threaten around 322 different species of flora and fauna, and this costs the Australian government more than $215 million a year. To this day, Australia's wild rabbit population is 11 times larger than the national population of humans, and they have always been a big problem for ecology and agriculture. The burrowing habits of these hundreds of millions of Australian rabbits also have serious consequences. Erosion and the destruction of the landscape in which they live is another negative effect of wild rabbits in Australia. Another side effect of this is the habitual competition with native animals. Because the wild rabbit population is on the rise, the Australian government allows anyone to hunt them with unlimited numbers. In addition, the government encourages people to organise rabbit hunting to reduce the number of this invasive species. In short, just like the wild boar problem in the United States, the hair problem in Australia will cause headaches for the government and farmers for many years to come. They will continually have to come up with effective control measures for this invasive species. In addition to feral rabbits, feral cats are also an invasive species that causes many negative impacts on Australia's ecosystem. An estimated 6.3 million feral cats live in Australia. Millions of feral cats in Australia kill around 1.1 billion mammals, 399 million birds, and about 93 million frogs. According to a study from 2010, each feral cat in Australia kills around 740 different wildlife creatures per year. Each year, feral cats threaten the number of survival of more than 180 different species in Australia, causing the extinction of a number of ground-dwelling birds and small to medium-sized mammals. In addition, they are also the main cause of the decline of many endangered animals, such as pangolins or bandicoots. Trapping and hunting feral cats is now the most commonly used solution to control this invasive species. With around 63,000 feral cats killed in Australia each year. In addition, tens of thousands of other feral cats were stranded and sent to animal shelters around the country. So we have seen the invasion of wild rabbits and feral cats. If you like such videos, leave us a comment in the comment section. Thanks to all of you for watching this video.